Welcome to this tutor to you topic video that looks at how Rio de Janeiro has grown. This is part of paper two, unit A, urban issues and challenges. Rio de Janeiro is home to approximately 6.7 million people. However, when considering the greater Rio metropolitan area, which includes surrounding municipalities, the population rises to about 13.5 million, making it the second largest metropolitan area in Brazil after Sao Paulo. It is the fourth largest city in South America. Sao Paulo in first place with 12.4 million, followed by Lima in Peru in second place with 12 million, and Bogota in Colombia in third place with 8 million people. Rio de Janeiro began as a region inhabited by the Tupi people and was first encountered by Portuguese explorers in January 1502, who mistook Guanabara Bay for the mouth of a river, hence the name Rio de Janeiro or January River. The Portuguese established a permanent settlement in 1565 to defend the area from French attacks and native resistance. By the 18th century, Rio had grown significantly due to its role in the export of gold and coffee, and in 1763 it became the capital of colonial Brazil, replacing Salvador. The city status elevated further in 1808 when the Portuguese royal family fled Napoleon's invasion of Portugal and made Rio their seat of power, making it the only European capital ever located outside of Europe. In 1822, Brazil declared independence and Rio remained the capital of the newly formed empire, continuing as the political and economic heart of the nation. The city flourished during this time, becoming a hub for trade, governance and culture. Even after Brazil became a republic in 1889, Rio retained its position as a national capital until 1960, when it was replaced by Brasilia, a purpose-built city in the interior. Despite losing political status, Rio remained a symbol of national identity, known worldwide for its beaches, carnival and iconic landmarks like Christ the Redeemer. As I've already mentioned, Rio remained the capital city until 1960 when it was replaced by Brasilia, which is pictured on the screen. This was seen as a better choice than Rio for a number of reasons. Firstly, it had a central location which was good for national unity. Brasilia is located in the interior of Brazil, which is more central than Rio on the coast. This helped reduce the coastal bias and aim to integrate the entire country more fairly and also symbolise unity and accessibility for all regions, north, south, east and west. It would also stimulate interior development. Much of Brazil's population and infrastructure were concentrated along the coast and the government wanted to promote growth and settlement in the inland areas, especially the underdeveloped central and western regions. In addition, there were urban problems in Rio. By the mid-20th century, Rio was suffering from overcrowding, traffic congestion, housing shortages and limited space for expansion. So moving the capital allowed for a more controlled urban planning process in a new environment. And Brasilia was seen as a vision of modernisation. It was designed by renowned architect Oscar Niemeyer and urban planner Lucio Costa to be a modern and planned city. It represented Brazil's aspirations for modernisation, innovation and also a break from colonial traditions. Finally, it offered political neutrality. Rio, as a major economic and cultural hub, was also politically influential, whereas Brasilia offered a fresh start, free from the strong regional influences of existing major cities like Rio or Sao Paulo. So let's think about how Rio de Janeiro has physically grown. So we'll start off with the 1960s. At the time, Rio was still Brazil's capital until 1960, and the urban development was concentrated around the city centre, also known as Centro, and nearby southern zones like Copacabana and Botafogo. These areas housed the main economic and political institutions and were well connected by roads and early public transport, drawing people to live and work nearby. If we then look at the 1990s, as Rio's population grew, the city expanded into the northern suburbs and along key road corridors. Favelas, so the Portuguese word for informal settlements, spread across hillsides and less accessible urban areas, particularly near the job-rich zones. Areas like Barra da de Huca in the west began developing as new residential and commercial hubs, supported by road expansion and improved infrastructure. 
and from the 2010s onward, urban sprawl accelerated both westward into Recreo and Campo Grande and northwards along transport axes. The Olympic Games in 2016 brought new investment and infrastructure, especially in the Barra region. Meanwhile, the eastern and coastal areas remained dense and economically significant, while socio-spatial divisions widened between affluent neighbourhoods and expanding informal areas. Despite no longer being Brazil's capital, Rio de Janeiro remains one of the country's most important cities, economically, culturally and symbolically. And as a result, it continues to experience significant population growth, with the greater Rio area estimated to house over 13.5 million people. Although growth has slowed compared to earlier decades, Rio remains a major destination for internal migration and a magnet for economic activity and tourism. Growth is affected by the following factors. Firstly, natural increase. While not as high as in previous decades, Rio still experiences natural population growth with births exceeding deaths, particularly in low income areas. Secondly, migration. People from rural areas and smaller towns in Brazil continue to migrate to Rio in search of jobs, education and better services, particularly from northern and northeastern regions of the country. Thirdly, Economic importance. Rio is a major centre for finance, oil and gas, tourism, media and entertainment, so it attracts workers across many sectors, both formal and informal. And finally, historical factors. Rio's historic role as the capital of Brazil establishes urban, political and economic infrastructure early, and the offshore oil boom in the late 20th century further boosted its economy and spurred investment, especially in the energy sector. The graph on the screen shows the population growth in more detail. So you can see from 1990, the population was at 5.5 million. In 2020, it's around 6.7 million. However, we also need to note that Rio's growth is somewhat limited by its physical geography as it is surrounded by the ocean and mountains on all sides. So there is only so much space it can expand out into. So we're going to finish off by looking at the population today. Rio covers a land surface area of approximately 1,200 square miles and is home to around 6.7 million people in the city, with over 13.5 million in the wider metropolitan area. This gives Rio a population density of about 5,200 people per square kilometre, so it is one of the most densely populated cities in Brazil. High density urban living is clearly visible, especially in the favelas, which you can see in the background of the photograph on screen. These are built on hillsides and marginal land. Roughly 20 to 25 percent of Rio's residents live in these informal settlements where poverty, limited access to services and housing insecurity are widespread. Rio is a diverse and multicultural city shaped by centuries of migration and colonial history. The population includes people of European descent, particularly Portuguese, but also people of African and indigenous descent, as well as more recent immigrant communities. A large proportion of Rio's population is of Afro-Brazilian heritage, which is a legacy of the transatlantic slave trade, which brought millions of enslaved Africans to Brazil more than any other country in the Americas. In terms of religion, Brazil is a majority Christian country and in Rio around 65 to 70 percent of residents identify as Roman Catholic, belong to evangelical Protestant churches. Religious life in the city is also influenced by Afro-Brazilian spiritual traditions which blend African, indigenous and Catholic beliefs. So that concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on how the city of Rio has grown. Thank you for watching.